Hi, you know, I'm really proud of you, even though you did make a pretty shitty movie. Well, thank you, Jim. Where are the girls? Uh, they're at home. You know, they'll uh, express their pride by showing up really late. Uh, of course they will. Where the fuck are you? And uh, have you ever uh, thought Thanks, I... Thanks, Antonio. Hey, Give me nice uh, and tight. Never... Hey, it's Laszlo on the red carpet of Meltdown. Some big stars, some beautiful dresses. We're gonna see some side boot tonight. Come on. We did it! Solomon! We fucking did it! Fucking A! <laughs> Fuck you, fate! I may be a lecherous old has-been, but I'm a has-been with a premiere at the Oriental Theater on Vinewood Boulevard. I'll see you in there, kid. Hey, thanks. Enjoy the picture, everyone! Mr. Richards! Mr. Richards, hi. If I could just bother you for a second. Um, I'm Laszlo from uh, Fame or Shame, um, but I do some acting on the side. I was wondering if... Uh... Oh, yeah, of course. You should come see me, kid. I think I got a project that would be perfect for you. Oh, that's fantastic. It's called The Closet. Mm. Really modern stuff. <laughs> Pervert. <laughs> come on. No, 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 no. Let's go over She's here. lying, okay? I never had surgery. Come Milton, on. Milton, Milton, hi. Sorry to bother you. Quick question. Get in here tight. Um, Love, love, loved the movie. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. When, when you were that polar bear and you had to eat your baby, I mean, that okay. was... Okay. All right, Jesus Christ. That was emotional. Stick and I just have a hug. Okay. That really affected me. All right, I gotta go. Thank you so much. Excuse me. Excuse me. Come on. Come on, let's get in there. Ah, Laszlo. Oh, shit. Come on, shit dick. <laughs> Where the hell is she? Looks like she stood you up. Hey, hope I'm not too late. I wouldn't miss this for the world. Devin, the fuck are you doing here? Hey, what a movie, huh? Meltdown. Congratulations, Mikey. We did it. Hey, let's get a picture, huh? You, me, the proud producer. Such a pleasure working with you. You see, I was here. Unlike your wife. Seems to be stuck at home. <laughs> you twisted fuck. You're a dead man. Let's go, Jim. Come on. Hold on! Where's Mom and Tracy? The girls are in danger. We gotta get to the house. What happened? I don't know. This rich asshole is pissed off at me because I didn't shit can the movie. And then his lawyer died, and, and he just told me he's gonna hurt your mom. You killed his lawyer? And now he's gonna kill Mom and Tracy? He ain't gonna do anything if I got a say in it. But... You fucking killed his lawyer? No, I didn't. It was an accident. I would never do anything to put you in danger. Shit. All right. Okay. They'll be fine. They're tough. This is just a movie guy, right? He's not a gangster or anything. No, he's not a gangster. He's just extremely rich. He says he's got all these connections. I'm sure it's just talk. What's that car? Daddy's home, you bricks! Oh, seriously gonna shoot Uh-huh! What? Uh, you got something to say? Tracy! We gotta get in there, Michael! He's in there with our girl! Mom! Daddy, Fucking animal! Okay. You just stay here. Keep your heads down. Be safe, baby. Don't worry about me.
Got you, you dick. Oh, uh, it's gonna be all right. <laughs> no, it's not. What was that? Someone there? I'm gonna start shooting. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> yeah, you like that, don't you, huh? Take it off. <laughs> Get the fuck off me! I, I thought I was on that guy. So you sit on his face? It's called teabagging? I really fucked him up good, though, huh? All right, listen, I'm gonna make a call. It's all gonna be okay. Stay put. All right, we get the tunnel bore machine, and we're good to go. Fucking glory seeker. Oh, you got any better ideas? Obviously not, otherwise you already killed me and done the gig yourself. I mean, what kind of vain asshole decides that the best way to rob the largest holding bank on the West Coast is for him, and him personally, to come at the front door? The kind of vain asshole who's stuck working with you, you douchebag. Okay, all right, all right, ladies. We gotta move. Come on. Man, can we fucking do this? I'll show you what you need. Ah! Uh, here, put this on. You know, I'm gonna scan this place for cameras when you're gone, peeper. Hey, when this thing is done, the girls are gonna be videoing me. <laughs> nah, ain't gonna happen. What ain't gonna happen? Four hundred million dollars isn't making this guy a player, and it ain't making you a good person. Now put on your clothes. Hey, so we ready for to get this shit cracking, right? Fuck yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. If you actually get dressed, then maybe you will. Ready for action, huh? Let's go. All right, I'm gonna meet my guy at the bank. Gold ain't ours yet, but we are this close. Get the crew. Let's go, let's go. You ready to do something profoundly stupid? Nice to meet you too, homie. Hey, let's drill a hole in this damn thing. This is a robbery! Get on the damn floor! That's the wall we want to hole in. Let's blow these cages while we can. How about setting these charges, all right? Now the second one. Hey, the charge is set. Let's open them up. Get out and we'll blow it. Get the metal over here for pickup. I'll handle the heat. Ready 
to go. Where the choppers at? Helicopter inbound. See you in a second. Tell T the metal's ready. Hey, you got you. Lord of Wind. Hey, I got this one. Over there, dog, look up. Get those brakes gone. They're fine. We head for the city limits. You can handle an RPG. The noob tube? Ha! Are you holding steady? Get me an angle? They're gone. We got company. I see you. Three choppers. Looks like Merriweather! Keep it still! I'm going for it! Ah, you got him! All right, I'll take the shot! I'm going to the windmill. They might back off. Direct hit! All right, you pricks! Here it comes! And it's going down! Clear skies! We did it! All right, let's go for the train. There's two choppers coming toward my train. I'm guessing that's you. Set down the metal and I'll warehouse it. Package one is down. Package two is down. We're good. Let's go to the airfield. The others make it out. I don't know. I'll check. M. F. You there? You make it out? Put her down. getting the metal in storage for a few days before I can sell it. Both of us? Yes, both of you. It's been a pleasure working with you. You'll get paid when we get the cash. Until then, I want you to keep it on the down low. No new cars. No vacation. No nothing! Now, come on, sugar! Slick, it's me! <laughs> what the fuck do you want? You got my money, punk? Hey, you got some coconut water or something like that? I need some electrolytes. Damn, it's kind of warm, isn't it? <sighs> Man, you got a death wish or something. Am I supposed to kill you now? Oh, no, bro. Not me. Nah. Oh, yeah! But that's my boy. Yeah, but that's my boy. He has betrayed everyone he's ever known. He's got you involved with the federal government, and he's messed up several business ventures of mine. He has got to go. And you know what? I'd like to say that this isn't personal, but it is personal. But the feds, man. The feds have told me to kill Trevor, and I obviously can't kill them both. The feds. Steve Haynes, Dave Norton. I own shopping malls. I would not employ those two clowns in. And I make one phone call, their careers, they are over. So you gonna A, listen to some 50 grand a year pension hunter, or B, a billionaire, who even the president lets finger his wife, or C, try and be really stupid and save those two idiot mentors of yours and have everybody in the goddamn state crawling up your ass. A, B, or C, time's ticking, pal. Beep, 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 and your answer is... Man, you know what? Man, fuck you. <laughs> Genius answer, pal. Total genius, but time is running. You think about it. Me, I got a triathlon coming up, and I am in deep training. Bye bye Man, fuck you. 
but you know, I don't want to say something that's really exciting and then you have to act all deflated and say, no, no, it's just that somebody got the same tattoo I got, so why don't you just go ahead and tell me? Some motherfucker wants me to kill Michael. Some other motherfucker wants me to kill Trevor. I feel I can't kill both of them. Man, I'm fucked, man. I don't know what the fuck to do right now. Damn. Well, I can see that. Well, who are the motherfuckers? Steve Haynes, uh, this angry motherfucker from the FIB. Yeah. Um, Devin Weston, man, you know the... Um, oh, that angry, that, um, rich fucker from whatever hole he hibernates in. Exactly. All right, all right. I say... Kill Michael, then kill Trevor. Oh. Man, are you for real? You're fucked, you know, I, I, I don't know. You know everything, dawg. I know, okay, but I, I, I'm sorry. I guess this is it. You know, I'm doing my best, man. I don't know how you can deal with both of them. I know, man. Shit. We're fucked. Every single one of us is fucked. Unless... Okay, Steve Haynes is under a lot of heat because of the shootings at Court Center. And Devin Weston is A, known to be a major asshole, and B, known to be friendly with Don Percival, who runs Merriweather. I think, actually, Weston owns a piece of Merriweather. Right, 11%. Pretty good for a pseudo-liberal owning a private army. So, they would both love to be involved in capturing the bullion that we just lifted. If I tell them both that you boys are at the foundry and where you had heights melting it down, then maybe, maybe both of them will pay you a visit and bam, we turn it into a, a bust. I ain't got no better ideas. All right, I'm gonna get in touch with Michael and Trevor. You go to the foundry, get yourself set up. I got you. Problem, dog. My boys, man. Well, we trying to save. Them. You actually doing something for your homies for a change? Hell yeah, I'm in. Who wanna clap your homies? Who don't, nigga? These Chinese dudes, some FIB cats, the rich white asshole who scammed us on them cars. Devin Weston, that punk bitch. Why didn't you say we was creeping on him? We ain't creeping on him, nigga. At least I don't think he gonna be there. We gotta take all the heat he can throw at us before we worry about how we coming back on his ass. But you is coming back, right? Oh, hell yeah, we creeping on that fool. Oh, so you ain't the mercurial motherfucker you frontin' ass, huh? Man, I'm just trying to make something out of myself, dawg. That don't change who my homies are, nigga. It don't change my family. Shit, nigga, you getting me all emotional now. Nigga might have to stop me from sucking your dick, nigga. Oh, please, nigga, fuck off. Mike on Trevor, they should be inside. Can you stay out here and let us know when the bad dudes is coming? I got it, man. I'll holler at you. Our showdown with a private army, and you're bringing a rifle? Yeah, I'm bringing a rifle. It's a good gun. It'll get the job done. That gun? It makes me think this is a setup. It is a setup. We're setting up Merriweather and the FIB, making them think the metal's here. A setup? Hey, what the fuck for... am I doing risking my ass trying to save y'all ass if you just gonna kill each other? Hey, you're not saving me, you're saving him. Ah, oh, you're saving this fat fuck. Man, y'all gotta keep y'all fucking heads right and end this shit. If not, man, I'll put bullets in both of you motherfuckers. Hey, they here? I know them when I see them, homie. They creep. All right, good. Y'all hear that? Now, if we doing this shit, man, it's either now or never. Oh. 
Come on, Trevor. Fuck it! Where do you want me? All right, man. You go over there. All right, where you want me? You hold your position right there. Okay. I'm gonna go over there. Save your ass just once. Save me? Nigga, I just wanted some company. T! T! Come in! Frank! I think T's in trouble! Alright, I'm looking for him! They keep on coming out here! Can you stop being an asshole, please? Say something! Trevor! It's war zone outside, homies! There you are! Man, you had me worried! I took a knock. I was sitting out a few rounds. It's good to know you care. Yeah, well, don't do it again. Go oh, look out! More agents! Keep 
Oh, looks like we did it. Shit, for now? Exactly, for now. So, what's next, huh? Are we just gonna wait around till someone else comes to kill us? Or are we gonna wait till this fucker gets turned again? Oh, bite me. Ain't anybody getting turned again, and you know it. Hey, man, the way I see it, we only just begun to clean this shit up. We got a lot of old friends I think need to be re-educated. A lot of friends. I mean, things could get really messy. No, we just gotta silence a few noisy people. <laughs> Hell yeah, well, let me see. There's, uh... Steve Haynes. Dave Norton. No, we need him alive. Why? So nobody fucks with us afterwards. What about that tribe, motherfucker? The one that think you two boys is dating? Shit, you know he bound to come back. Yep, there's that. Well, who's the, uh, the guy who set up Lamar? Huh? Stretch? We want to throw him in? Shit, Trevor will throw anyone in just to satisfy his bloodlust. Whoa! Hey! It's called a fucking loose end, all right? Now, if we're gonna be men of peace and tranquility, we tie up loose ends. <sighs> Man, Stretch has been a liability. But then we're gonna have to take care of our old pals Devin Weston and Steve Haynes. Oh, fuck, what a mess, man. Well, let's get it cleaned up. How about you get Lester on the line? Who is this? Uh, stop calling this number. Hey, it's me, dawg. <laughs> You're alive. I thought someone might have your phone. No, nah, no, nah, but look, I got you on speakerphone. Oh, did Mike make it? Yeah, I'm here. And the other one? <clears throat> See you putting the ground wheels. Uh-huh. You, um, just calling for a chat? No, we got some work to do. Can you get us some whereabouts? Oh, I'll do my best. Who? Steve Haynes to start. And Devin Weston's ass. And, uh, Wei Ching. W-E-I-C-H-E-N-G. Wei Chang! Wei Chang! And Franklin's pal, Stretch. Huh. Stretch? Yeah, man, look, his real name is Harold Joseph. Okay, well, I can tell you that Agent Haynes is taping a show over on Del Perro Pier. Shooting permit came up immediately. Check it! Oh, I wanted to ice that fucker since the moment I met him! All right, all right. Ah, I got a signal from Mr. Harold Joseph's phone over at the B.J. Smith Recreation Center. No, I got him. I got him. Let's keep him clear of uh, known associates. All right, thanks, dawg. You got it. What you got for me? Tao Ching's credit card just bought a Magnum at the Beach Club in Pacific Bluffs. Okay, I'll go ask his ass about his punk-ass dad. When I find Mr. Weston, I'll send the coordinates. All right, good. All right, we made our plans. Let's stick to them. We take out our assigned targets. Any deviation will lead to confusion and probably failure. We got one shot at this, guys. All right, let's do this shit. Ass motherfuckers trying to break the order of things. That stretch tolerance. Oh, hey, who did? Sorry. Ah. Hey, man, he got stretch, man. Roll on his ass. Stretch? He ain't a problem no more, Frank. Shit, he wasn't my pal. He was a dude who ganked us, homie. Thanks. I'm moving on Hanks. Les, see if you can patch me into his radio mic. I want a last reminder of what an annoying prick. This is a land of dreams. But sometimes those dreams turn into nightmares. Stop! Cut! Cut. Oh, God, that's a cliche, man. Dreams, man, that's a cliche. What? No, I know it's really good. Just do a cutaway. 
No, I'll pick it up. No, I'll pick it up. I got something good. Ready? <clears throat> Rolling. Throw in a senior FIB agent, and you've got a unique look at what happens when dreams and reality collide. Hi, I'm Steve Haynes. I've tracked down killers, attacked incompetence, and taken down terror cells. And tonight, I'm in your living room. Got it. That was strong. That was good. That was really strong. Yeah, I liked it. Cool. Let's do it. Let's go home. Whoo! Where's that girl? Where's that hot little girl? I just saw it down there somewhere. What? Hold on. I don't care that she's an intern. <laughs> you just get this thing going, all right? I'm gonna get out of here. Oh my God! The guy. What's his name? He shot him. Lester, I dealt with Haynes. You got a location on Devin Weston yet? Yeah, yeah, I do. The Merriweather team was dispatched to protect him in his house in the Tongva Hills. Uh, I say house, it's more of a... Yeah, 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 whatever. I'll go up there and get him. Who's next? Hey, the boy Chang. Don't worry, I'm on him. Hey, the old man's here. He's leaving the beast club. I'm gonna do it now. Ain't gonna have no more triads coming out. Attack is off! Ah! You bleed like humans, but I know you're reptile! Hey, we good, T? Never better, amigo. Uh, Franklin? 
I'll be here. Franklin. Hey, right, what's up? I assume you got him? Ooh, safe and so. Oh. Ain't that right, buddy? <laughs> hey, my bad, homie. I picked C. Ain't that a bitch? You know, Devin, the way I see it, and hey, I'm no intelligent businessman like you, but the way I see it, there's two great evils that bedevil American capitalism of the type that you practice. Number one is outsourcing. You paid a private company to do your dirty work for you, and then you underpaid that company because you thought you were big enough and bad enough that you didn't have to play by the rules. Oh, number two. Offshoring your profits. Offshoring? Oh, it's horrible. You wouldn't want to be sent offshore just to save a little money, would you, T? No, Franklin? I wouldn't. Oh, no, I ain't would going you nowhere. No, see, but we know your opinions on the matter, Devin. Keep your problems the fuck out of America, huh? <laughs> In this instance, when he puts it like that, it makes sense. Of course it does. Hey, Devin, goodbye, my old friend. Thanks for all the advice. Bye-bye. So now what? Now we keep a low profile and get on with our lives. As friends. Well, do I have a choice? No, not really. All right, then. As, uh, flawed, awful, totally uncomfortable, and poorly matched friends. Absolutely. Oh, that's perfect. Then we can get back to the kind of capitalism we practice. Shit, I don't know how much more better that is than Devin's con. Ooh, hypocrisy, Franklin. Civilization's greatest virtue. Jesus, your therapist has a lot to answer for. I know, I still hate myself. But hey, at least I know the words for it now. Yeah, but I hate you, and I know the words for it. So does that mean I don't have to go to therapy? Look, man, you two motherfuckers terrify me of that middle age. I'm good. You're right to be afraid, Franklin. Yeah. Be very afraid, Franklin. <laughs> Tell you one thing, T. I'm getting too old for this nonsense. <laughs>